the Oscar goes to Hello, hello, my name is Sol, I'm a geek and I'm Hispanic and today I'll be talking about what film I think is gonna win the Oscar so How this is gonna work is I have a total of 5 films and I'm gonna rank them from the least likely to win to most likely to win so of course the number one it's gonna be the one I think is gonna win so in each category I'm gonna explain why I put them there there's two films I have not seen Wing Vincent and Breadwinner at the end of this video I'm gonna talk about something that people have been talking about because there's this one film, this list, many people are kind of like controversial about it, like this film doesn't deserve to be here, it should have been this film in the list and not this one. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna do a little casual chat with you guys. And so stay till the end. But I still think that my ranking makes sense. But again, you feel free to disagree with me. Everyone has different opinions. And if you think loving Vincent should be number one, by all means comment down in the section below. Something important about this list is these are not the order of films I like the most. This is the ranking of how likely are they for me to win. Keep that in mind. I'm not saying a film is better one than another necessarily. It's more of which one is more likely to win. So on last place we have The Breadwinner. The Breadwinner is about Parvana. Parvana cuts off her hair and dresses like a boy to support her family. That kind of reminds me of Mulan but Sounds completely different at the same time. Working alongside a friend, she soon discovers a new world of freedom and danger. So this film looks very intense, very interesting. I have not seen this film, I'm so sorry. But this is my reason why I think it's least likely to win. Mostly, uh, the Oscar winner films for animated films are the most popular films, most mainstream or the ones, yeah. There's been exceptions, of course, but overall, this is the case. So I think Breadwinner, even though it looks very interesting, I think the animation also is something that brings it down. 2D animation has been a form of wonderful animation for many, many years. I mean, the Disney Renaissance was all hand-drawn, and unfortunately it's a medium that's kind of disappearing for mainstream films. When it comes to, I mean, there are exceptions to this, but I don't think, even I'm looking at the animation, I don't think it's that amazing. The next film in my list is Loving Vincent. So Loving Vincent is about mystery surrounds the death of famed painter Vincent van Gogh in 1890 France. That's all we have. <laughs> so Loving Vincent, I think it's a spectacular film. Like the fact that they, they're, everything's oil painting and it's just so creative that this style of the film it's based on the actual style of the artist because i mean we've seen films about maybe artists or famous famous figures but the, the fact that they went to the detail that it looks like he would have painted this it's amazing and this is the other film i did not watch these are the only two i did not watch and i think loving vincent the reason why it's not gonna win again it's very indie it's not very popular and although i think it sounds like an amazing idea the chance of winning are not that very likely the next two are kind of like complicated for me to pick but we're just gonna go with it ferdinand ferdinand is a young bull who escapes from a training camp in rural spain after his father never returns from a showdown with a matador adopted by a girl who lives on a farm Ferdinand's peaceful ex existence comes crashing down when the authorities return him to his former captors. And it's pretty much Ferdinand's journey to get back home. Okay, why is Ferdinand here? I enjoyed Ferdinand. I think it's like a 6 out of 10. I mean, it's not a great score. But overall, I think Ferdinand had a lot to offer, like with charm and heart and some quite cute animation but it's still not a huge success and I think the storytelling was not the plot in general I think it was more oriented for kids which that's fine but I think you know just because it's an animated film again this is like my biggest motive just because it's animated doesn't mean it has to be for kids even though this one was actually made towards kids more I think the people who were gonna see pick which one is gonna win I think they're gonna pick one that it's, it's gonna appeal to them more yeah, I think that's my opinion. Now, Ferdinand is absolutely adorable and sweet. I just don't think the people who vote for these Oscars will 
necessarily pick that one. Next we have the boss baby. A new baby's arrival impacts a family told from the point of view of a delightful, unreliable narrator, a wildly imaginative seven-year-old named Tim. The most unusual baby arrives at Tim's home in a taxi wearing a suit and carrying a briefcase. And there's a lot of rivalry and we won't say much of this film. Boss Baby, I think it's a bit more towards the adult side compared to Ferdinand. I'm adult, I feel would like Boss Baby more. But still, I don't think Boss Baby has the popularity or the appeal that other, the number one film has. I think Boss Baby, even though it did good in the box office, I don't think it was a huge success. And the film, I think it's gonna win. Like, don't even have to mention it. I think it's absolutely obvious. Coco, of course, if you've seen my 20 something minute long review, you would know that I absolutely love Coco. But again, like I said, this whole video is not about what I think which one is the best film, it's which one I think it's gonna win. The reason why I think Coco is gonna win is because one, it was a huge success. So many people from all around the world adore what this film had to offer its music, its heart, its animation, its absolutely spectacular and again loving vincent has also a spectacular animation so what does that mean well i think it's just coco has more that more people praise great story great characters the, the fact that the research they went for this film is absolutely amazing and it's a love letter to the mexican culture i keep saying that over and over again but it's just a wonderful film and also it's very popular it's very mainstream i mean it's one of the biggest studios ever pixar Pixar has won how many Oscars again? Yeah, exactly. So the chances of having a Pixar film, if there was a Disney film in this, maybe. I mean, we had two Pixar films, but we're gonna talk about that later. But again, when you have a, such a big studio like Pixar, which has won most times, just by itself as the biggest studio, the chances are, it's gonna win. Now, do I think that's fair? Do I think that's a different video? That's a different opinion. But this is what my prediction is. Now, I'll make a whole segment about films that were not in this category. A lot of people were shocked. I mean, shocked that we had a boss baby in this category, but we didn't have, say, Cars 3 or Lego Ninjago or Lego Batman. This is my opinion about it. Okay, so I just brought a chair for this part of the video because I wanna chat. Let's talk about this whole deal. Let's get comfortable and let's just discuss this. Do I think Boss Baby deserved it? No. <laughs> I do not think Boss Baby deserved this, but I think, even though I don't love this film, I think Cars 3 should have gone this part. Okay, so hear me out. Cars 3 had a way better animation like the can we talk about that moment when they put the, the metallic thing in the car it's just mesmerizing and then all the details with the rays the dirt the sand so many textures and different things like you can definitely see the improvement from the first film to this one by far i don't know this is what i think lego batman and lego ninjago okay lego batman not a fan of if you've seen my video Lego Ninjago I did like more than Lego Batman, but those two films have way better animation than Boss Baby. By far, and I think it's Boss Baby, it's original, it's idea, it's very kind of like Toy Story, the what if kids had a business, yada yada thing. But in the end, I just don't think it's a strong film, Boss Baby. I mean, it's enjoyable, I laughed, and you know, I don't think it's as bad as some people make it seem. I think Boss Baby is just an okay film. Just not horrible, not terrible, but not great. On the other hand, if I had to pick between Boss Baby and Cars 3, even though there's many things that annoy me about the story in Cars 3, I think the animation and some cool messages are what makes Cars 3 stand out more. And I think it definitely, it's quite shocking that a Pixar film is not in this list. I mean, Coco is in this list, but not the both films that came out this year, last year. I'm still getting used to the whole 2018 thing, but so that's quite interesting, you know, that they're like, nope, not Pixar, we're going to have DreamWorks. Ho oh, ho. And many people were saying, oh, maybe they can just have one studio at a time. No. Last year we had Zootopia from um, Disney and we also had Moana from Disney against each other. 
So it doesn't matter what studio, you can have your studio more than once. So out of these three movies, Lego Batman, Lego Ninjago, Cars 3, I would prefer Cars 3 to be in that list and not Boss Baby. Now, I would ask you, which one would you have preferred? Are you happy with Boss Baby? Are you like, yes, I wanted this movie to be in it so bad? And also tell me your prediction of which one do you think it's gonna win? I think I feel very confident about my decision. But another thing is, which one do you think deserves it? Doesn't matter what do you think the Oscar prediction will happen, which one do you want deserves to win best film of this year? I think it's also Coco. <laughs> I think it's the one I think deserves it, but also the one I think it's gonna win. But that's my opinion. Thank you so much for watching and for, you know, spending some time here chatting with me. Don't forget to subscribe, because then you might be like, ha, so you were wrong, Coco didn't win. You might be like, good job, so. And also you'll be updated, because you know, I react to trailers, the reviews to movies. So thank you, thank you so much. Subscribe, and if you like this video, like it. And what the YouTubers usually say. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. And I'll see you all very soon. Shimmy, shimmy. Am I the geek?